What's going on guys, Corey from Yoda Expedition and in front of me we have the Vagabond tent from Rome. So we're gonna get this thing open and install it on our fifth gen 4 arm. We have the tent opened up we're gonna lay it down on the ground and open it up as if it was on the truck because everything that we need is gonna be inside so the side here with these um, movable hinges is your bottom so we're gonna lay it down on that side you can see here on the side we have these velcro straps we're gonna undo those and then we can open up the tent All right, so you're gonna find the door, undo these two little hooks here from either side, and pull this up, and push all that out of your way. That way you can get to the door. So once you have the tent open, you're gonna find inside we have two boot bags. We have a gear hammock. Um, we have the metal posts to hold out the windows. We have a ladder in here. This has all the hardware that you're gonna need to assemble everything. And then we have the cover, and then we have the tracks, which we're gonna mount to the bottom, which are gonna mount to your roof rack. All right, so now that we have everything out of the tent that we need, we're gonna close it back up so that the bottom of the tent is facing up, and then we are going to attach the crossbars to it. So inside your hardware bag, you're gonna find three stakes, three guy lines. We have two brackets for the ladder. We have four sandwich plates here, eight brackets to mount to your roof rack. And then we have hardware to mount the rails to the tent. And then there uh, is included wrenches, but I think we're gonna use our own tools. All right, so looking at the bottom of the tent, you're gonna find four rubber plugs. We're gonna be pulling those out and that's where the bolts are gonna go through for the bottom rails. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the four rubber plugs out on each corner and then we can get those bolted up. Now that we have those rubber plugs out, you can grab your crossbars and those are gonna be fitting um, on the tent left to right. Um, they won't fit the other direction. So we'll get these lined up, get your holes lined up and then we could slide the nuts in here and get it bolted up. So in order to get the hardware into the cross rail, you have to take off the end cap here. So just pull out this plastic piece and then we can slide in the nut into the uh, slot here. So there is rubber plugs on the top and there is also rubber plugs on the underside, so you're gonna have to take something like a Phillips head screwdriver and pop those out to the inside and then you could reach in and take them out. So we are on the side of the tent that has the hinge. This side's gonna be a little bit easier. So you, you can just reach in and find the hole and put the bolt through. So we're gonna go ahead and get both of these put in. It is a little bit tight in there. Once you have the bolt lined up with the hole, push it through to the top and then get it started on the nut. So on the opposite side of the hinge, you're gonna have to unzip the window so that you can get underneath the mattress and put the bolts in for the crossbar. So you're gonna have to unhook both of these from both sides and then you can get access to the zipper on the window. Now you can put your hand inside. 
Now, from the window, you can go inside with the bolt and get these ones stuck through as well. So we have all four bolts started on the cross rails, so I'm just gonna center them up so they're even on both sides, and then I'm gonna go from underneath and tighten those up. I can definitely say that fitting your hand under there and getting these bolts tight is not the funnest thing. I'm just gonna strap the tent back up so that we can flip it over and attach the ladder to the other side now that we have the crossbars done on this side. So we got the tent flipped over. We're now ready to install the ladder brackets. So you can see right here on the very end, uh, we have some holes that are covered by like stickers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open those up with a screwdriver so that we can get the bolts to go through. Once you get these bolts through, it's a lot easier to get these tight versus the crossbar bolts. You just uh, put your hand right inside the tent and the nuts are right there. All right, so we have the ladder brackets bolted onto the tent, but we just have these finger tight for now until we get everything else attached. So now we can put on the ladder. We're gonna put it on with all of the warning signs facing up. That's the correct orientation. And now we're gonna go ahead and bolt the ladder to those brackets. So when putting the hardware on the ladder to the brackets, you're gonna to want to put the plastic washer between the ladder and the bracket itself. So when you're tightening these bolts down, you wanna make sure that you're not making them too tight, but also not too loose. You just want a nice um, drag on the ladder. So now that we have the ladder bolted onto the brackets, we can go ahead and tighten up the bolts on the brackets to the tent. Now we have this fully tightened, we can go ahead and pull the ladder down and Velcro it in place. All right, so next we can install our boot bags where the ladder installed, there is a channel right here on the edge and on the bags themselves, there is a rubber uh, rod inside here. So we're going to be slipping that into the channel like so. And then you can lay the boot bags on top of the tent. Lastly, we have our gear hammock. This is going to connect to the uh, rings here on the four corners of the tent and you could either put this over the top of your ladder or underneath the ladder, um, but it would make more sense to put it underneath the ladder. That way you don't have to take this off every time you're ready to open your tent. All right, so last step before we get the tent onto the roof, we need to get the cover on. So we're going to separate the top portion of the cover from the zipper first. We're going to install the zipper onto the tent and then install the cover. All right, so we are on the hinge side of the tent and we're gonna be starting with the end that actually has the zipper on it. And we're gonna be feeding that through the channel right here on the bottom. So feed that all the way through. So once you get to the corner, feed it through there and then pull it through to the other side. Just watch that you don't get it all twisted up.
All right, so last step, we're gonna take the cover, we're gonna turn it inside out, and we're gonna be running the remaining edge through the channel here on the front. Once we have that in place, you can go ahead and throw this over the back. Now we can go ahead and zip the cover on. Last thing we can do is tighten all of our straps down for our cover. And with that, we're ready to get this thing up on the roof rack. All right, so now that we're ready to put the tent on to our roof rack, the next thing you need to do is figure out which side you want the opening to be on. So we're gonna put the opening on the passenger side of our Forerunner, and um, this edge right here is where we slipped in the cover, and that is going to be the side with the door. So also you wanna figure out if you want the tent towards the back of your roof rack or towards the front. We have a ladder on the back and we're gonna be putting a storage can on there from Rome as well. So we're gonna favor the tent towards the front. So you're definitely gonna need at least two people to get this thing onto the roof rack, if not three. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. Ready? You got it? Yeah. It is pretty heavy once you get it up <laughs> over your head. Three probably would be recommended. Well, once it's on these rails, it's not so bad. All right, so we got the tent up on our roof rack, which this is a Sherpa roof rack, um, if you want to know for context. But we now are ready to put the mounting brackets on and the sandwich plates. So in order to make this easy, we're gonna be taking off our front fairing so that we can get access to the bottom side of our uh, cross rails. All right, so we have our front fairing off and now we have access to the bottom of our roof rack. We're gonna have to pull these end caps back out of the tent rails so that we can slide the mounting brackets into there and then bolt it onto our roof rack rails. So right here we have one of the mounting brackets that come with the Rome tent. We're gonna be sliding that into the channel here on the bottom of the tent rail. You're gonna have to have somebody lift the tent up so that you can get these bolts over the rails on your roof rack until you have all of these in the position that you want them. All right, so we picked out which rails we wanted to mount our tent to, and we slid these down so that we have one on either side. Now we're gonna go ahead and take those nuts off, and we are going to put the sandwich plate on there and tighten it down. Make sure that the tent is nice and centered before you do that. All right, so I was just about to struggle getting these bolts and the sandwich plates on when I realized we have a sunroof. So if you have a sunroof, use it. So I'm just gonna snug these up. I don't wanna make them tight. I wanna make sure I can get the tent aligned perfectly first before I go ahead and tighten these down for good.
So on this sandwich plate, there's two sets of holes and they do that depending on how wide your uh, rails are on your roof rack. So if you don't need to use the outer ones, don't. Now time to do the rear ones, which aren't going to be as easy as the ones with the sunroof. So depending on your roof rack to get uh, better access to the mounting hardware under here, we had to take out the one crossbar here just so I could get my arm under there far enough to get to the bolts. All right, so we have all of our mounting hardware started. So now I'm just gonna make sure that the tent is uh, squared up on the roof rack and then we can go around and tighten all those down. All right, so when it comes to tightening these down completely, just make sure that they're kind of centered up with your rails on your roof rack. And we can go ahead and tighten these and we don't wanna to get too, too crazy because you could start bending the uh, sandwich plate so we're gonna go until we see it just start to move a little bit and then that should be good. Go back evenly from side to side so you're not over tightening one side more than the other. And that looks good. You can see there's just a slight bend on either side. You don't wanna get too crazy, that should be good. So we've got the tent all tightened down. We're outside. Next thing to do is open it up and try it out. So that's gonna conclude the installation of the Vagabond tent from Rome. If you guys are interested in this same setup, it's available on yodaexpedition.com. I'll put the link down in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. I'm out of here. Oh, it's nice in here. <laughs>